So, it's official. We are going to go ahead and try and uh, do our very first top 64 bracket. There will obviously be some tweaking and some ironing out of the details as we continue to do these going forward. But I'm very excited to do this. Our editor put together this list of the top 64 video game protagonists. So, if uh, your opinion of best video game protagonist is not included here, my apologies. I didn't make the list. If you want to participate in these as well, you can join my Discord. I will announce when I'm doing these, trying to go forward. I'll try and announce them a little bit in advance. Uh, and you can come to my live streams on Twitch, Pipkiller94, and participate in the chat for the ones that are harder to decide, the ones that I won't be dead set on. I will go to chat to ask them. Chat will be helping me along the way on this one, as I am currently live on Twitch. Um, but all of you watching this on YouTube will be seeing later. And we're going to do all kinds of categories. If you join the Discord, you can submit suggestions for categories for us to do these top 64 brackets. I would like this to become a semi-regular thing we do on uh, here on the channel. Hey guys, this is a bit of a longer video now that we just finished doing it. So this might be something you kind of put your headphones in and play the sound in the car while you got a decent drive ahead of you, because there's not a lot visually to go from here. Back to our regular schedule programming. So with all that being said, we are going to get started right now with our top 64 video game protagonists. We have a single elimination bracket. I took all 64 names that were given to me. I input them into this and randomized. So the order of the names we're going to have going against each other was random. And therefore, I will not be held liable for who is and isn't included in this list. Just going over the names of who's included real quick. We'll just go down. Uh, we got V from Cyberpunk. Joel Miller, Last of Us, Master Chief, Solid Snake. That's a crazy matchup to have first. Leon S. Kennedy, Mega Man, Lee Everett. Max Caulfield, Agent 47, Lara Croft, Captain Price, Mario, Link, the Doom Slayer, Duke Nukem, Donkey Kong, Clementine, Sora, Sam Fisher, Raiden from Mortal Kombat, Ellie Williams, Last of Us, Frank West from uh, Dead Rising, Guybrush Thripwood, Jin Sake, Minecraft Steve, Peter Parker, specifically the Marvel Spider-Mans, uh, from the PS4, PS5. Cole McGrath, Sackboy, Cloud Strife, Max Payne, Batman from the Arkham series, Geralt of Rivia, Ethan Winters, Resident Evil 7 and 8, <laughs> Arthur Morgan, uh, Red Dead, The Prince from Prince of Persia, Sonic, uh, War from Darksiders, Gordon Freeman, Liu Kang, Claire Redfield, Nathan Drake, Ryu, Kazuma from uh, Yakuza, right? Yeah, Yakuza. We've got Nier. Uh, I don't know anything about uh, Nier other than like uh, the game Nier Automata, so I'll have to do some research when I choose this one. Kratos, Ezio Auditore, Trevor Williams, Ness, Dante, Samus Aran, Commander Shepard, Jesse Fadden, John Marston, Kirby, Alex Mercer, Spyro, The Dragonborn, Ratchet from Ratchet and Clank, Aloy, Senua, Bayonetta, DJ Blazkowicz, Crash Bandicoot, and Deacon St. John. So that's our bracket. Someone in the chat asked, what attributes are you considering for best protagonist? It's a very good fair question to be the best protagonist you have to have good accomplishments good character depth good personality you have to be a character that i care about that people care about because i'm going to take my personal standing out of this uh, as best i can because some of these characters i didn't invest in but i know other people did invest in um so i'm going to try and take my personal standing out of it as much as i can what was your story how impactful were you to the story? Would it have been good without you and being replaced by somebody else? Did you have good character, personality, depth? Are you relatable? Are you sympathetic, empathetic, whatever it may be? For those of you watching on YouTube in the future, please 
come be a part of this and help me uh, for the ones I don't know as well. We'll see how it works. Let's start off with a great matchup. V and Joel Miller. So V from Cyberpunk, Joel Miller from The Last of Us. I didn't get super into Cyberpunk because of all the bugs that it originally had. But I know that it is very popular. People love it. I know the major DLC that happened for it really revitalized it. Oh, this is tough. I'm leaning Joel because I, f I feel like Keanu Reeves is more important to Cyberpunk than V is. And obviously that's without me playing it, so I don't know for sure. But I feel like Keanu Reeves' character is more important. The first thing I think of is Keanu Reeves, not V. Whereas when I think of Last of Us, Joel is the embodiment of that franchise. Even in the second games, where he's not a major part of the game, he's still a driving force in the story. That is the fundamentals of being a good protagonist. I have to take Joel here. I don't know if people are going to disagree or agree, but I have to take Joel. The next one, Master Chief Solid Snake. I feel like Solid Snake really drew a shitty hand here. Because Snake easily could have made it further into this bracket. But against Master Chief, I just don't... I don't think so. Like, I think Master Chief is the clear winner here. So we're going to go ahead and put Master Chief in there. I love Snake. I think Snake's a great protagonist. But he's not, he's not Master Chief. And that's all there really is to it. Down here, Leon S. Kennedy versus Mega Man. Chad just said it hurts my soul, but Leon might top vanilla Mega Man. I was thinking the same thing. I Don't get me wrong, I love Mega Man. Mega Man's nostalgia through and through. But when it comes to true protagonists, I, I mean, Leon's the face of a franchise that's been going for 25 years that has had a, a plethora of, of different main characters and somehow Leon is still the face that everyone thinks of. I don't think there's a world where Leon isn't the right choice here. Up next, Lee Everett, Max Caulfield. I will say, I was never a big fan of the Life is Strange stories. My general understanding is that people do like them, but that the character isn't integral to it. I don't know that I necessarily have enough basis for this, not being a Life is Strange fan, to pick here. So I might leave this one to chat. So I will let chat discuss this and I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it after I do the next one. Max Caulfield from Life is Strange, Lee Everett from first season of the Walking Dead Telltale series. Because based on my knowledge, I would lean Lee, but I don't, I don't know that that's fair. So we'll move on for now while they discuss. Agent 47 versus Lara Croft. Here's the thing. They're very different and similar in the sense of there's a lot of like stealth, there's a, a lot of weapon usage, but when it comes to character depth, personality, when it comes to being a protagonist, a hero, a story builder, a character that matters, I feel like Lara Croft is the right answer because Agent 47, I feel like he could be replaced with anybody else that kind of just weaves his way out of the system he's in. Whereas Laura Croft is quintessential to being uh, the protagonist of her own franchise. So I'm going to go Laura Croft. There's quintessential agreement within the chat that Lee Everett might not be great, but Max Caulfield's just kind of mid, and so that one could go either way, sure, I guess. Based on that, I'm going to give it to Lee. Lee was huge in his game. I'm going to give it to Lee. Captain Price versus Mario. Who's the better protagonist? Ooh. Longevity makes you instantly want to jump on Mario, but I'm going to be honest, Mar Mario's just... Ugh. My problem with Mario is when I think of Mario, I just think of him always saving Peach. I don't know that Mario has any character, though. I don't know that Mario has any depth. He's just a plumber. I want to go Captain Price here. Just because Price has so much more character than Mario. He's so much more relatable. But I just feel like it would be disrespectful to Mario. I think this one's a lot closer than the Call of Duty stands will think it is. 
or the Mario stands will think it is. Overall franchise, I think I have to go Mario. I don't want to, but I think I have to. You know what? Yeah, we'll leave it at that for now. Because I'm torn. And if we get back to it, and it's and nobody else in chat has decided, uh, then I'll 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 tie break myself and I'll I'll probably lean Mario as much as I like Price more. Link and Doom Slayer, as cool as Doom Slayer is, there's no way it's not Link. It's just it's it's Link. Link is quintessential here uh, healer or uh, hero. It's not even close. Link is everything Mario wants to be. He's a silent protagonist that has character. Link never had to speak and has more character than Mario ever has speaking. Uh, Duke Nukem Donkey Kong. This is harder than I think people will understand because only one of them has been an antagonist. And that's Donkey Kong. And a lot of you guys might not remember that, but the original Donkey Kong game, you were going against Donkey Kong. You were actually playing as Mario ironically enough i'll leave this one to chat duke nukem donkey kong because honestly i don't i don't think either of them are all that in terms of being a protagonist up next we got clementine from the walking dead telltale games and sora uh clementine is a great character and she drew a real shit stick here because if she had gone against a lot of other characters in this but against sora no shot sora is through and through the better choice Sam Fisher versus Raiden. Oh, that's tough. I love Sam Fisher. I love the Splinter Cell games. But is he a better protagonist than Raiden? I don't think I can say he is. As much as I love him. As much as I love the Splinter Cell games, I love Splinter Cell more than I love Mortal Kombat. For sure. I'm going to I'm gonna give it to Raiden. I, I don't love it. I'm going to give it to Raiden. It's close. It's closer than a lot of people might think. Raiden, for me, never seen anything from Splinter Cell, but I've seen a lot of character development from Raiden. He's just a great person overall. Yeah, I agree. I think Raiden's the right choice. It pains me because I love the Splinter Cell franchise and I love Sam Fisher, but I think Raiden's the right choice here. Ellie Williams or Frank West? Two zombie-based games. I don't think this is close in the in the slightest. It's Ellie. Last of Us and Last of Us 2 blow Dead Rising out of the water in terms of story, gameplay, uh, character, everything. I think Frank West really drew a shit stick here. I think he could have had a chance against others, but I think he's actually kind of low on this list anyway, based on the names we've gone past so far. But Ellie is just so much higher. Let's see. Guybrush Threepwood versus Jin Sake. I don't know shit about Guybrush Threepwood. Monkey Island. From everything I'm seeing, he seems like he's a fairly iconic character for people that know these games well. I'm not seeing anything that suggests he should beat Jin Sake. Jin Sake was such an amazing character. The personality of that game was fucking amazing. Uh, the character growth, the depth for Jin Sake. Jin Sake is the answer here. And that is a crazy matchup up next. Ellie Williams and Jin Sake. That's going to be nuts. All right, down here. Minecraft Steve versus Peter Parker from Marvel Spider-Man. No offense, Minecraft fans, but it's not even fucking close on who's the better protagonist. It's not even close. Which game's the better franchise? I, I'm, hell, I still think that might be Spider-Man, but it, better protagonist is not even close. We're moving on. Cole McGrath versus Sackboy. Ooh, that's tough. Here's the thing. I liked Cole McGrath a lot in Infamous. Ah, I... I don't know. This is tough. I don't like either answer. I guess I'd give a slight edge to Sackboy just for longevity. Being the pro tag for multiple games, Cole McGrath was only the pro tag for one or two. Got replaced. I'm going to give it to Sackboy. I don't think it really matters long term. I think that one's kind of close because neither of them were the best pro tags. Cloud Strife versus Max Payne. Love the Max Payne games, but Cloud Strife is one of the most iconic pro tags from Final Fantasy. I think if you don't give this to Cloud Strife, you're disrespecting an entire genre of gaming. And that's coming from a non-Final Fantasy fan. Oh, Batman and Geralt of Rivia? Oh! Wow! Oh my god, that's so difficult. 
Why is that a first round matchup? God, that's a bracket buster. Batman may have an edge. Oh. Here's the thing. Super Batman fan. I literally have the Batman logo tattooed on my chest. This is tough, though. I mean, Geralt of Rivia, such a great protagonist. I can't, I can't pick this. I need, I need chat to, to vote. We'll come back, because that's so, I can't choose that. That's so hard. Ethan Winters versus Arthur Morgan. That's tougher than people might think, honestly. Ethan Winters was a great protagonist for 7 and 8 of Resident Evil. Arthur Morgan, Red Dead. I kind of want to give the edge to Ethan, but he also was just kind of stupid sometimes, and that makes me want to give it to Arthur. I think the Red Dead story holds more weight to people, and I think that is because of the main character of Red Dead. So I'll give it to Arthur Morgan. Ugh, do I want to, though? Resident Evil 7 and 8 revitalized Resident Evil as a story. And the twists in 8 made you really feel for Ethan. I'm going to... Mm, I'm going to give it to Ethan. Ethan gets the edge for survivability and bigger enemies. Yeah, I'm going to give it to Ethan. If it was just Resident Evil 7, Ethan, and then Arthur, I would give it to Arthur. But 8 really pushed Ethan into a different tier of pro tags. I'm going to give it to Ethan. He was a one-man army and had a good backstory. Agreed. The Prince from Prince of Persia versus Sonic. It's a real mid-fight. Uh, I kind of want to go Prince here. Got to go fast. Sonic's the better pro tag. Wow, I am alone on this, apparently. All right, Chad is definitively saying Sonic right now, but I disagree. And here's why. Sonic is not special. Knuckles, Tails, they both can run fast-ish. Not quite as fast. Shadow is literally just Black Sonic. He's not special. He's not even most people's favorite. Most people like Knuckles or Tails more. Shadow was a more interesting pro tag than Sonic when Shadow got his own game. Whereas Prince of Persia has depth, has inner growth, inner strife. He struggles in the second game with that evil side of him. Since when does a pro tag need to be special? They don't need to be special, but they should be the most important character in their own franchise sonic has all of those over multiple games i don't know that i've ever seen sonic have inner strife hell the first couple sonic games he didn't even have what felt like a story he just ran across maps because it was a platformer and then jumped on an Eggman's head the guy needs a pep talk from tails all right i'll give it i'll give it to sonic i don't think either of them is the greatest pro tag but I, I get what you're saying, Sonic being, how longevity-wise, yeah, I'm fine with Sonic. I'm okay with Sonic pushing forward. I'm not mad at it. Well, this is based purely on the games. Because if it was based on the movies, Sonic wouldn't even be close. It would just decimate Prince of Persia. Uh, I think games-wise, it's a lot closer. I think, I personally think the Prince might have the edge. But I, I will respect the longevity and storied career of Sonic. War from Darksiders versus Gordon Freeman from Half-Life. Loved Darksiders, didn't give a shit about Half-Life, but Gordon Freeman's the better pro tag. And Batman is the winner. All right, so we'll go back up. Batman gets the dub. I feel bad for Geralt being knocked out round one. That's crazy. Liu Kang versus Claire Redfield. Ooh. I think it's pretty definitively Liu Kang, not Claire. Claire's fine. I think Liu Kang is clearly the better pro tag versus Claire Redfield. Claire's only been the pro tag in one game and it was a shared protagonist role. Whereas Liu Kang is like the clear, going forward especially, face of the franchise. Nathan Jake versus Ryu. Ooh. So I wasn't big on Street Fighter. So I don't know how much of a pro tag Ryu really is. I know he's the face of the franchise. He's kind of like the Liu Kang of the franchise. Wow, very definitively, Ryu. Just hasn't said anything in 20 minutes. Ryu. Okay, all right, we'll go We'll go Nathan Drake. I'm not big on either. Kazuma versus Nier. First instinct makes me want to go Kazuma. Uh, Kazuma is the main character for the Yakuza games. You know what? I'm... I also don't think that the Yakuza games are as big because of Kazuma. 
I could be wrong about that. I'm gonna give it to Nier. I'm gonna give it to Nier. Just looking, at, just a quick scan tells me Nier is the better pro tag. Kratos versus Ezio Auditore. I'm going Kratos. And I don't think it's that close. I think Ezio's great. I think Ezio's a fantastic pro tag, but I'm going Kratos for a lot of reasons. Kratos at first was just more fun to play. He had great story. He had great character growth. He had great development. He went from being a raging, just monster of a man to being the hero of a, a, a story, a redemption arc father, a man facing his personal demons and overcoming them for the betterment of his son. The character growth alone makes Kratos the only right choice here. And I love Ezio. Ezio's the best Assassin's Creed protag in my opinion, but Kratos beats Ezio. Trevor versus Ness, it's Ness. I don't think Ness is overall that interesting, but Trevor is not even the sole pro tag of his own game. Trevor versus Ness, it's gotta be Ness as a pro tag. As a character, Trevor. As a pro tag, Ness. Dante from Devil May Cry versus Samus from Metroid. Ooh, that's tough. I think the better character is definitely Dante has way more personality, has way more depth, but have they done more for their franchise? Hear me out. This is real tough because Samus is iconic, but, and this might be fucked up, I feel like the reason I would lean Dante as the better pro tag is because most people, when they recognize Samus, they recognize Samus from things like Smash Bros., and a lot of them don't even know Samus isn't a, a guy. That's not fair, but that's a major hindrance on your level as a pro tag. You don't have enough followership for people to even know what you are under the suit. That's crazy to me. She was designed to be a mystery, but it's not a mystery anymore. It hasn't been a mystery for a long time. Both stop world ending threats. Samus did a lot for her franchise. Oh, I'm going to edge it to Samus. I don't feel great about it, but I'm going to edge it to Samus. Commander Shepard versus Jesse Fadden. I love Jesse Fadden. I loved the control game, but I'm going to give it to Shepard, even though I'm not a big Mass Effect person because of two reasons. One, I think Commander Shepard is widely regarded as like the, the, the pro tag for the Mass Effect games. And Jesse Fadden, as great as Control was, as much as I love Control, I fucking platinum that game. I fucking enjoyed the shit out of it. As much as I love Control, the big surprise about Control was that it was in the same universe as Alan Wake. That means she's not even the main, like, the main pro tag of her own universe anymore. It's difficult. I loved Control, but I'm gonna give it to Shepard here. John Marston versus Kirby. I don't think Kirby's all that fucking interesting, honestly. I'm gonna give it to Marston. In a fight! Kirby might sweep this entire board just because of Kirby's powers. In terms of being a pro tag, no. Alex Mercer versus Spyro. Ooh, I have to go Spyro here. I mean, Alex Mercer was awesome, but Alex Mercer goes from being pro tag to antag in the next game. Spyro is a quintessential pro tag, has been a pro tag since day one. I got to go Spyro here. The Dragonborn versus Ratchet. I think the reason the Dragonborn is such a great pro tag is because you can build them however you want. You get a lot of choices. You get a lot of choose your own adventure style movement to the game. But Ratchet has saved the universe time in and time out. I think Ratchet is the right answer here. That one's tough, but I'm going to give it to Ratchet. Ah, Aloy or Senua. God, I love both these games so much. Oh, God, I platted both these games. Two of the best story-based female pro tag games I've ever seen. Oh, this is going to be so dirty, knocking one of them out in the first round. This is heartbreaking. All right, let's, let's weigh it. Aloy saved the world. She has more heroic feats to her resume. But 
She lacks inner conflict most of the time. She's very confident in her own abilities. She's very, and that's not a bad thing, but she's very, because of that, her character doesn't have a lot of room for development and growth. She kind of starts off complete, so to speak. Aloy was always ready, was always capable, always strong-minded, brash, bullheaded. And none of that was bad for her story. It was great. Uh, and she has the better resume in terms of accomplish accomplishments. But Senua, she has the better personal journey. Overcoming mental health issues. A, a pro tag that beautifully demonstrates the issues of psychosis and inner struggle, inner strife, dealing with personal demons literally and physically and manifestually. She has the better personal journey. Aloy has the better heroic journey. Aloy is the by far the better hero, but we're not talking hero, we're talking protag. I think when it comes to being a protag, the thing that matters more is who do I get more invested in? Whose story, depth, arc, personality, everything. If this character died, would it be more upsetting? If this character failed, would it be more heartbreaking? If this character turned evil, would it shatter people's hearts? I love Senua, but I'm gonna go Aloy. I think she's the right choice. This is difficult though, but I'm gonna go Aloy. I'm so sorry, Senua. I am. Uh, Bayonetta versus DJ Blazkowix from Wolfenstein. Not big on either of them. Through and through, Bayonetta is the right answer. Crash Bandicoot versus Deacon St. John's a crazy matchup. I will not go against my heart again. I'm giving this one to Deke. Deacon St. John is the main character from Days Gone. Let's head back up. All right, we never actually had a definitive pick for... All right, we got someone else in here between Captain Price and Mario, Duke Nukem and Donkey Kong. All right, you pick Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong beats Duke Nukem. Captain Price and Mario. Mario, all right. I'm fine with both of those. Whew. Round two. Joel versus Master Chief. Oh! I'm so sorry, Joel. It's gotta be Master Chief, though. Leon versus Lee. Not even close. Leon. Crazy how much easier this round two's been so far. Lara Croft versus Mario is crazy. I'm gonna give it to Mario here. I don't love it. I, I, I think Mario's mad overrated as a pro tag, but better pro tag than Lara. Lara suffers from the same thing Nathan Drake suffered from. They're just watered down Indiana Jones. Link over Donkey Kong is like the easiest dub ever. Sora versus Raiden, giving that one to Sora fairly definitively in my opinion. All right, this one's tough. Ellie versus Jin Sake. If the question was who's the better hero, it's Jin Sake. But the question's not hero, the question is pro tag. I think Ellie had the better, better character arc, better depth, didn't really make decisions that didn't make sense for her character. Jin just kind of abandoned all of his morals. I get why he did it, but it it kind of rubbed me the wrong way for a little while. I'm gonna I'm gonna give the edge to Ellie over Jin. Peter Parker versus Sackboy. It's Peter Parker. Not even close. Cloud versus Batman. Oh, I, as a Batman fan, this is crazy for me to say. I think Cloud having his own personal demons, having his own doubt issues, having his own battles of character growth and stuff like that versus a Batman who was pretty definitively Batman the entire franchise. I'm going to give it to Cloud, which is crazy to me. Ethan Sonic? I think Ethan's the better pro tag. I really do. I think Ethan's the... I still think Prince of Persia was better than Sonic, and I think Ethan beats Prince of Persia or Sonic either way, so it really doesn't matter. I mean, revitalized uh, the franchise of Resident Evil. Gordon Freeman versus Liu Kang. I don't like either of them that much as pro tags. I'll leave this one up to chat. Uh, we'll come back to it while you guys decide. Nathan Drake versus Nier. Same reason as Lara Croft not winning. Watered down Indiana Jones. I'm going to take Nier here. Kratos, Ness. Definitely taking Kratos over Ness. Samus versus Commander Shepard. I'm leaning Samus here. John Marston, Spyro. I was leaning Marston, but first comment I see Spyro over Marston. Ratchet, Aloy. It's Aloy. I love Ratchet. I love Ratchet and Clank, but I think it's... 
I think it's Aloy definitively. If Aloy was able to beat Senua, she's definitely able to beat Ratchet. Bayonetta versus Deacon. I, I go Deke here. And I know that might be controversial for some, and that's fine. But I go Deke here. Deke's story in a singular game enthralled me in his character, in his depth, in his story, in his decision making. I go Deke. We still need to pick between Gordon Freeman and Liu Kang. I'm going to go Gordon Freeman here. The reason I go Gordon Freeman instead of Liu Kang is because of the fact that Liu Kang is only a pseudo protag and not a true protag in the sense of he shares his protagonism role with other characters. There's a lot of choosing who your true protag is in Mortal Kombat and stuff like that. So for that reason alone, I'm going to give it to Gordon Freeman and move on. All right, so there's our 32. We're down to 16. Master Chief, Leon S. Kennedy. Fuck! I'm leaning Leon. I'm leaning Leon because of the growth of the character. The growth from rookie to utter badass to definitive name when you think of Resident Evil, you think of Leon. So we're not talking who would win a fight. Because in a fight, Master Chief would surely win. We're talking who's the better main character. And I think as a main character, Leon had more character development. He has more character and personality to begin with than Master Chief, who's damn near robotic at times. He did spiral. He did spiral. And that is that is a good point. When, when Cortana defected, he did spiral out a little bit. And that did show some layers to his character. This is tough. This is really, really tough. I'll go, I'll go Master Chief. Uh, we'll go Master Chief. It's tough, though. That's really hard. Uh, Mario Link, not even close. Mar uh, Link by a fucking country mile. It's not even fucking close. Sora versus Ellie. Ah! It's, it's Sora. It's got to be Sora. It's got to be Sora. Peter Parker versus Cloud. I think Cloud wins for the same reason that he won against Batman. He's just got the better character arc. Although the second game for Peter really ramps up his his character arc. I'm actually I'm gonna take Peter Parker here. It's in a bubble. It's the Peter Parker of the Marvel Spider-Man games from PS4, PS5. All right, we are in the semifinals the top four the final four master chief and link i think we all know it's link and then sora peter i'm gonna take sora here which means our finalists are link and sora oh my god <sighs> this breaks my heart but i think i gotta i gotta give it to link don't i i don't want to <sighs> kingdom hearts is my favorite game of all time I want to give this to Sora so fucking bad, but I don't think I can. I think I have to give it to Link, don't I? He's the quintessential protag. He is the protagonist of protagonists. He is the main character of main characters. He is the hero of heroes. He is, the, and he's done it all without talking. It's Link. Oh shit, wait, no. That's not the finals, that was the semis. We got more, oh no. Oh no, oh no. Oh hell no. That was just the top bracket. Oh shit, we did shit out of order. Ethan versus Gordon, Ethan. I mean, that's easy. Nier versus Kratos, Kratos. Samus versus Spyro, Samus. A lot of these are mad easy. Aloy versus Deacon's tough. It's fine. It don't have to get stitched in order. It's okay. Adds some more interesting layers. You just put a little note up there and say, like, Pip forgot about the other half. He'll find it momentarily. I I I gotta go Aloy here. I gotta go Aloy here. I, I don't want to. I love Deacon more, but Aloy is the better pro tag. And then Ethan Kratos, it's Kratos. Samus Aloy, it's Aloy. Ooh, is it? Is it Aloy? I'm gonna give it to Samus. 
Uh, Samus has more interpersonal drive than Aloy. I agree. Meaning the finals of the Western bracket is Kratos and Samus. I give it to Kratos. Oh, fuck. Y'all know what that means, right? That means the actual finals is Link and Kratos. pull my fucking hair out. I'm gonna pull my fucking hair out. I already had to pink Link over Sora. Do I think I can pick Link over Kratos too? I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can. Here's the problem. Who wins in a fight? Kratos. Who's more iconic? Link. I think Kratos has the better story. Kratos by far has the better character development. Kratos far, by far has the better character development. I think if I was on the outside looking in, I know that the reason I'm so struggling with this is because of how much I love the God of War franchise. But the right answer is Link. He is just the quintessential pro tag. I'm trying not to let chat influence my decision on this either. So, all right, Link on his way to claiming the throne as the number one pro tag of all time KO'd the Doom Slayer in round one slaughtered Donkey Kong in round two made an age old case for why he's the GOAT in, against Mario in round three had a huge matchup in round four against Master Chief beat Sora to make it to the finals and then beats Kratos in the finals I think that this is it's the right answer. It's tough. I know that there's going to be a lot of people torn on it. There's going to be people who are going to sit here and say, I can't believe you you didn't have the Dragonborn in the finals. For everybody watching on YouTube, that was our top 64 video game protagonists. There was a lot of inner strife. There was a lot of difficulty. This took damn near two hours to complete. Uh, but yeah, guys, this was this was tough. I had a lot of fun with this, though. I definitely want to do more of these. I had a great time doing this. I really liked chat being involved. I hope that as these get uploaded to YouTube, uh, people that see these will come to the stream chats and be a part of this as well. I had a great time. I can't wait to do the next one. We've got a couple that we're already talking about doing. Things like video game antagonists, movie main characters, Disney Pixar animated movies, Disney villains, best video game story we got a couple wrestling ones that we're gonna try and put together if you want to make suggestions you can come to the discord and do so and um thank you guys for watching this let me know where you guys think i went wrong majorly i tried to do justice to the characters i didn't even know well and if the character you thought deserved to be on this list wasn't uh, don't blame me blame my editor but with all that being said thank you guys so much for being a part of this let me know what you guys thought let me know what you guys want to see and with all that being said as always i am pip Y'all are the greatest. We will see you next time. See ya!